I feel good. That's your complaint. Your major symptom. I told her this was a waste of time. I notice colors more. And music, I... I'm really hearing music. I'm 82, and I'm supposed to be playing canasta with the other old ladies, but now, when I see a guy with a cute butt, I can't stop looking at him. Or a sexy beard. And you figure that enjoying cute butts is a sign of disease? It all started a month ago when Mark rented Gone with the Wind for me, but it had the wrong DVD in it. Oh, oh, right, I, I, I forgot. This is all my fault. Uh, of course, he was too busy to bring it back. Yeah, like I don't have a life. So I watched it, and it had this actor in it, this kid called Ashton Kutcher. Now, I think about Ashton all the time. All the time. You remind me of him. Same bedroom eyes. People are always mixing us up. I, I, I suppose you, you need to check my heart. No, 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 that, that won't be necessary. I told you. But I am going to admit you to the hospital for tests. What tests? She's just old. And you're just insufferable. Your mother has had a sudden personality change. It should be checked out. I'll have a nurse come in and admit her. I'm too handsome to do paperwork. The healer with his magic powers. I could rub his gentle brow for hours. His manly chest, his stubble jaw. Everything about him leaves me raw. Psych wards upstairs. With joy. Oh, house, your very name will never leave this girl the same. It's not bad for an 82-year-old. She asked me to give that to her true love. I say, chicks with no teeth turn me on. That's fairly disgusting. And that's ageism. You better watch yourself around this, babe. Here are her test results. Impressive. Oh, Dr. House. Well, it took you long enough. We've been waiting here. Mr. Adams, would you step outside for a moment? Why? Because you irritate me. Um, he is my son, doctor. He's just a little cranky from not eating. Fine. Mrs. Adams, have you had any recent sexual activity? What? Well, I, I don't suppose fantasies count. Oh, my God. Unfortunately, I've hit kind of a dry spell. Only for the last, oh, I don't know, 15 years. <laughs> she's, she's confused. My father died eight years ago, a heart attack. Not in bed, dear. Why do you ask? Because you have tested positive for syphilis. That's impossible and insulting. I don't think it's the first time that Mom has heard this diagnosis. Cupid's disease. That's what we used to call it. When did you get it? Uh, 1939. Prom night, I think. He had a Chevrolet. It was before I met your father. But you said that... You said Dad was your first love. He was. We're talking about sex. Uh, but I, w I was treated. Which suppressed it, in your case, for 60 years. But now it's back, and the spirochetes that cause syphilis are eating away at your brain cells. Oh, that's revolting. It's not as revolting as chlamydia. It's got seepage. And it's the 21st century. We got flying cars, robot dogs, and penicillin. High dose regimen for two weeks, you're cured. I can't believe this. Yeah, well, pinch yourself. I guess for the next two weeks, I better practice safe sex. You'll be fine. Just feed that cranky kid. Oh! 
I sent you home. Well, I came back. I took a cab. So my son wouldn't try to chaperone us this time. I'm sorry, but the fact that the sexual pleasure center of your cerebral cortex has been overstimulated by spirochetes, it's, it's a poor basis for a relationship. I learned that one the hard way. Doctor, um, these feelings that I've been having, is it all because of the syphilis? Yes. Then, uh, here's the prescription you gave me. Well, it's not likely I'm going to infect anyone. No, but it'll kill you. Well, gotta go sometime, and uh, I really don't want to play canasta for the rest of my life. I, I like feeling sexy again and making a fool out of myself with handsome young doctors. <laughs> Do you think that I would have given you this if it would stop you from flirting with me? Well, but if I'm cured... Then, then all then... the spirochetes will die off. The little pieces of your cerebral cortex that have been destroyed won't grow back. Your brain damaged. Doomed to feeling good for the rest of your life. <sighs> Stop being contagious. I'll come by for a chance.